Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Have you ever wondered if the golf clubs you're using is helping or hurting your game? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna share three easy tips to help you answer that golden question once and for all. So let's get to it. Now, I'm not insisting that there's something wrong with all 14 golf clubs, but if you ever hit a tee shot like I just did, then there is a pretty good chance there's something going on and it just might be the instruments you're using. So before you blame your technique, it's a pretty good idea to at least have a way to assess your golf clubs. And here's tip number one. Where on the club face are you coming into contact with the golf ball? Simply stated, I need to assess the quality of the strike point. And the way you're gonna do this at home is next time you're out and about. Pick yourself up a can of foot spray and head out to the driving range. And what you're going to do is you're going to spray the face of whatever club you want to assess and hit a series of 10 shots. And But after about two to three shots, make sure you wipe the face and reapply. So this way you don't get confused of which strike you're looking at. What you're looking for is a tight stamp pattern. Anything that looks like this all over the face, I promise you there's something going on with your golf clubs and they're not doing you any favors. And there's no secret to get that great golf ball just melting off the face shot, we need good center face contact. Have you ever stepped up to the tee box to only feel like in order to keep the ball in play, you have to swing the golf club with less effort? If so, this is tip number two, and that's I'd like to have a golf club that has three gears. And this is something we strive to do in all of our fitting sessions. And that's every golf club in your bag, minus your putter, you should be able to swing three different ways. You should be able to swing a sawed off half swing at 50% level of effort, a three quarter stock swing, and yes, the balls to the wall full tilt swing where you just grip it and rip it. One of the easiest ways to test this is the next time you're out at the golf course, I want you to play a hole with one golf club. So call it your seven iron and play tee to green with just this single golf club. What you're looking for is any of those situations where you don't feel comfortable or maybe you hit a bad shot when you went from full swing to partial swing. And if this is the case, then it's a pretty good chance that your golf clubs don't have multiple gears. Have you ever felt that your golf clubs had a mind of their own? And no matter what you tried or done, sometimes you miss it left, sometimes you miss it right, long, short, you get where I'm going. The ball is going everywhere but where you want it to go. And if so, it could be the instruments you're using. And an easy way to test this is we got to grade your golf clubs. And here are the three indicators you want to look for the next time you're out on the driving range. First, I want you to judge how did the ball feel coming off the face? Was it a good strike or a bad strike? The second thing I want you to pay notice to is, are you able to get the ball into the desired launch window? If it's anything other than something that appeals to your eye, that's a bad shot. Last but not least is, are you able to get the ball moving in the direction you're aiming? And if it misses right, misses left, and you're not aiming there, then that is also a bad shot. Then hit a series of 10 shots and take a pen and pad and write down your results. And I'm simply looking for how many good shots you had versus bad shots. If you happen to score anywhere between the range of 24 to 30, then congratulations, your golf clubs are working well for you. But if you happen to fall within, say, the 18 to 24 range, then this could indicate there's something going on with your golf clubs. And anything under 18, this is definitely a red flag that your golf clubs isn't helping and they can definitely be doing more harm than good. So there you have it. Three easy tips to help you once and for all determine if your golf clubs is helping or hurting your golf game. So just make sure you got a tight stand pattern, your golf club has multiple gears, and last but not least, make sure it doesn't have a mind of its own and it's going in the direction that you want. And I promise you, you'll be on your way to playing some really good golf. So if you have any questions or comments, do me a favor, just leave them in the remarks below. And until next time, thanks for watching.